<laughs> now gather round, my children, gather round. Now then, Johnny, take your hand out of that collecting box. You naughty boy. Young folks, old folks, everybody come to our little Sunday school and we will have some fun. Bring your toffee apples and sit down upon the floor and you'll hear some Bible stories that you never heard before. <laughs> Adam was the first man, that is what we all believe. One morning he was billeted and introduced to Eve. He had no one to tell him, but he soon found out the way. And that's the only reason why we're sitting here today. From a terrible incident. Esau was a fellow with a very hairy chest. His chest, it was so hairy, he'd no need to wear a vest. His father left him property not far away from Norwich. But the darn fool went and swapped it for a basin full of porridge. He was a wicked man and Abel was so good. He hit his brother with a stick as any brother would. Abel didn't like it so he asked him to refrain. But Cain he wasn't Abel and so Abel got the cane. Young folks, old folks, everybody come. To our little Sunday school and we will have some fun. Take your coffee apple and sit down upon the floor. And you'll hear the Bible story that you never heard before. <laughs> Jonah was a prophet with a tendency to sail. He booked a steerage ticket on a transatlantic whale. The atmospheric pressure got too heavy for his chest. So Jonah pressed the button and the whale did all the rest. When Aaron felt so jaded that he couldn't raise a laugh, he opened up a nightclub which he called the Golden Calf. Of course the cops got wind of it, arrested all the lot, and Chief Inspector Moses got promotion on the spot. Pharaoh had a daughter with a most bewitching smile. She found the infant Moses in the rushes by the Nile. She took it home to dear Papa and he believed the tale, which was just about as probable as Jonah and the whale. Young folks, old folks, everybody come. Hey! While it's the Sunday school and we will have some fun. Hey! Sing your coffee up and let it down upon the floor. If you turn the record over, then I'll sing you all some more. <laughs> Everybody come to our little Sunday school and we will have some fun. Bring your toffee apples and sit down upon the floor. And you'll hear some Bible stories that you never heard before. <laughs> Goliath was a hefty man, so big and strong and tall. And David was a little man, the handyman of Saul. David took a little sling and half a brick as well. When David slung the brick at him, Goliath went to... <laughs> Samson was a fighter of the very highest class. Slew 40,000 Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. He caused the roof to tumble in by leaning on a pillar. And that was the end of Samson and his lady friend Delilah. Solomon and David lived most exciting lives. They had a lot of girlfriends besides a thousand wives. When they got older, their consciences had qualms. So one wrote the Proverbs and the other wrote the Psalms. Moses was the leader of the Israelite stock. With his old umbrella, he brought water from the rock. All the people gathered round and gave a hearty cheer. But they were disappointed when they found it wasn't beer. Young folks, old folks, everybody come to our little Sunday school and we will have some fun. Bring your toffee apples and sit down upon the floor and you'll hear some Bible stories that you never heard before. Ruth, she was a flapper of the very modern type. She wore short skirts and she rode a motorbike. She wagged a wicked lipstick and her eye was of the glad. Salvation Army saved us her from going to the bad. <laughs> now our little Sunday school has finished for the day. I hope you're feeling better in every kind of way. I feel it sounds much better if we do it all in verse. On Monday next at half past eight, the choir will rehearse. Now.